All right, so here he is, longtime flyweight staple and former champion Davison Figueredo. Outstanding finisher. He can knock you out. He can submit you. The cardio has really started to catch up with the skill set, and fans are always excited to see this man compete. Always excited. I mean, he's one of those small guys that when we watch him walk to the octagon, you feel like something explosive can happen. And on many occasions, that's exactly what does happen. But for Figueredo to win tonight, he has got to be more willing to accept whatever comes to him in the fight. He cannot chase the knockout. He has got to be ready to take takedowns. He's got to be ready to box. He's got to be ready to grapple. If he wants to win again, and head back towards the championship. But man, is he an absolute delight to sit down and talk to and to watch compete. And you can argue that were it not for the presence of one Davis and Figueredo, this UFC flyweight division would cease to exist. Big spot for the former champion tonight. Here he is, folks. You know who he is, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. And as much as his focus is firmly on this title defense here tonight, he did say in our fighter meeting, I want to go down as one of the all-time greats, and he just might. Yeah, if you're going to do that, though, you got to continue to win. He has every intention of doing that. He has said time and time again that I'm not just here for right now. I'm here forever. So even when I'm gone, people will remember me. In order to be remembered, though, You've got to stack up those championship defenses. And he has already started to do it. He intends to keep that rolling tonight. We talk about guys like Dominic Cruz and Al Jermaine Sterling, and this man believes skill for skill. He's better than both of those guys. Hey. Yeah, Another yeah. chance to prove it tonight. Don't shoot the messenger. Some of these guys, you <laughs> Cody No Love Garbrandt has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. Or tail the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Davison Donegaro Figueredo! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting, leading, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, Great our fight. referee for this Ready. one. Good. All right, Davison Figueredo, usually a fast starter. Going to be interesting to see how he approaches the early portions of this round here. He is methodical. He can strike and grapple with any man in this division. But this matchup, he believes, provides him a lot of advantages. Let us see how it plays out. Nice kick. Yep. All right, good early sign for the boxer as he is able to stuff the first takedown attempt. You were somewhat critical of his takedown defense in his last fight. Seems to have shorted some things up. It showed that in training camp, they went and addressed that real issue that he had in this game. To this point, him defending from such a well-balanced fighter shows his improvements. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, man, I could barely get the fight clock 
Rock sponsor out. These gentlemen are going at it. They are here to fight tonight. I cannot wait for this fight to continue. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Great commitment to the kicking game. I mean, look at the timing on that takedown, John Ann. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pounds. Now it's, oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. What a tight arm bar. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Garbrandt's able to transition back to side control now. Big ground and pound. Garbrandt gets back up. Oh, wow, huge uppercut. That's going to leave him up. Well, Garbrandt's boxing looks sharp tonight, DC. You know, his uncle Robert Meese in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew tonight. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Going reversal there. And now he's got the back. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Back to his feet. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Garbrandt's now dealing with a cheek cut. Solid takedown by him there. Well, Davidson Figueredo may be a credential Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but these fans came. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Garbrandt strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh, nice right in. So we call on the numbers here. You can see 55 total strikes. And now landed for Davison Figueredo. Davison Figueredo gets back up again. Fighters separate from the clinch now. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, big left. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Figueroa gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Another punch to the head.
Straight right, he misses. Takedown defense 101. Sometimes I watch this boxer stuff shots and it seems like he's been wrestling his whole life. Well, that's the first thing you have to do when you come into this sport is learn to defend takedowns. He has done that. He spent a lot of time working on this specific skill and is showing tonight inside the octagon. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, doing work with the jab. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Nice front kick there. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than before. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Swing and a miss. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. My favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job. Man, has his chin been tested early. Big right hand there. Come on, you got this. Let's focus. What a lot. Oh, finally lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. All right. Huge strike lands there. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. Strikes are just brutal. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by guard. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, that has got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Figueredo's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's got his back. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, another strike lands from the top. That was a slick transition. <laughs> Relentless pressure from the top by Figueredo. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, that was in trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, 
replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Sure, there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Unable to land the head kick there. Oh! He's hurt now. Oh, nice body shot. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Nice. Nicely done. Garbrandt gets back up. Figueredo's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside physician. Smart decision by the fighter to continue. Could be the beginning of the end here. Let's go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Garbrandt's cut, not getting blood in his eyes, so that's a good thing. But man, that is a nasty cut on the cheek. Certainly going to require stick. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! This is a crazy high face. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night tonight. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first one to take a backward step and almost concede that this is too much. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, Stunned Jack driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, that's it! Cody Garbrandt by knockouts!
Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so he came into this fight as the unquestioned best 135-pound fighter in the world, and nothing about that effort will change that narrative. Congrats to the...